Okay, we're back with part two. All right, let's go through some video game news. What are we doing first, Ben? Okay, let, let's talk about some cool stuff. Reynardus. We're starting with the good. I'm going to start with the good. D mate, okay. re so that Re Reynardus game, you know that one we were talking about? When are you Square one? Yeah, yeah, well, not Square. It's actually another company, but Square have... Oh. This is wild to me. Are Square the publishers? No, they're not the publishers. It's... Um, okay. NIS, what are they, then? NIS is the publisher. The people who do... What? Uh, uh, YS and uh, oh, Trails. Mate. fucking... Yeah, shit. NIS are the publishers of oh. uh, Reynardus. I have sworn it was no, Square. No, it's not Square. Dude. I know why you're thinking it's Square now. Yeah, like, it because was well. it's a... Isn't it a bunch of like people from like Final Fantasy work? Yeah, on this yeah, game? yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the, the the actual game company who are making the game is uh, oh, what are they called again? Oh shit! Yeah, there's no no squares in sight. Rain. <laughs> I can't remember who are the people. Fury making. and Natsumi Atari. Rain artists. And F Furyu, I think they Furyu, need yeah, uh. Yeah. Oh, what did they do yeah. again? They did, uh, oh god, they've done like a bunch of like, they did, they did the ca Caligula games. effects, didn't they? They've done a bunch of smaller stuff that, uh, like... Did they do Caligula effect? And I think they, yeah, they did, they did the, ca yeah, Caligula effect, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's them. Um, so like, obviously it's, um, uh, right. Obviously, that's funny. I find it funny that, that um, the connections that this team have because I can't believe that April Fools are real and Twiri is actually a part of Rain Artists. Oh yeah, wasn't like, that on April first? That was yeah. That was a. I thought that was a joke. Like I actually thought that was a joke. And no, that collab is actually a no, real. No, it's thing. real. Yeah, it's I saw the, the trailers. Yeah, I was and like, um, yeah, yeah. the sh showcar from the hit popular game that everyone has heard about, The World Ends of You, and is uh, in Rain Artists. And, yeah, and it. I, it's her exact same model from the game as well. Yeah. And all I'm going to say is there's a reason why they use sprites for the cutscenes. Yeah. Because the 3D models are kind of weird. Yeah, they look a bit in World strange. Ends of you. Yeah. And they've ripped straight from the World Ends of You yeah. into Reynatis, which is yeah. uh, definitely got higher, more detailed 3D models in World Ends of You. Yeah. And it looks a little uncanny to be honest. In fact, there's like a character in Reynatis who's basically a Shoko wearing a white coat. Yeah. Like Right? Yeah, with like, the she's one of the main characters. Yeah, yeah the umbrella. Yeah, she's I've got the cat that, hoodie to like her. Yeah. And it's like, this is like. <laughs> I am actually like, quite interested in this game now, though. Reynette's character versus Reynette's character at home is what if it was I like get... her, and, her and Shokun. From... No offense to Shoko, she's yeah, awesome. Yeah. It's cool to see her in the game, yeah. but like, the models are like, ooh, I think it's kind of weird. Uh, this game, right? Um, I get. I think isn't Yoko Shimomura actually doing like some of the music for this game as well? I'm pretty sure Yoko yeah, Shimomura is doing yeah. the music. Yeah. So this game's like, it it's it's really weird. Like it's a brand new IP and it's got a oh, team up with like Twiri of all things. Like of all things. Yeah, it's crazy. The, the um the the one of many Square games that did not meet expectations. Yeah. Including uh, the Gacha game uh, that no one plays, uh, FF7 Rebirth, oh, and yeah. uh, and the the re obscure visual novel uh, FF16. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Shame. Can't believe they didn't meet expectations. Yeah. Well, uh, that's a, that's a getting on to. Uh, so yeah, Rain Artist actually seems interesting. I do actually kind of want to check it out. Um, the other interesting thing going on with Square, uh, they've they're changing their plans. They they are sure. going full multi platform. They are sure. done. They are done with uh, being PlayStation exclusive for their brands now. I think that honestly, that, that, that you that don't is, blame them. That cause... PlayStation money has dried out. Yeah, yeah. PS Five has um, not done as well as the other Sony consoles before it, and of course, Sony themselves have done uh, a few um, dicky wikis as well, which we'll get onto soon. Oh yeah, I'm very sure. Yeah. Um, so I can't blame Square for doing that. Yeah. Uh, here I am just sitting here like, I'm not a businessman, right? Yeah. But I'm sorry, how many people are playing FF14 right now? So many. <laughs> I don't know how Should, many. Do, like, would, it, would it benefit them more if they just focused on that game? 
I mean, that's they, like the big cash cow right are now, isn't it? They focusing on that game as well. They've okay, got, good. They've got a new expansion yeah. coming out for it. Uh, the yeah, next keep on releasing shit for that Dawn game. Trail, yeah. 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 The that's... one thing that World of Warcraft is scared to meet in the dark alley. Like, fuck. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, keep keep on doing stuff with FF14. Yeah, they are. They are still doing it. I mean, Jesus. That game's uh, getting a patch as well that's going to... Yeah, um, well, it's kind mm -hmm. of a double-edged sword because it's improving the graphics, but that also means the benchmark for if you can play it goes up. Yeah. Yeah, which is... That's a good. It's a double-edged sword, though, because it could kick mm -hmm. off some older players. They don't have as good enough, like, computer to run it anymore. Depends. Well, let's just hope that fucking final fucking fantasy of all things meets expectations when it goes. I mean, like, yeah, Final Fantasy has had a history going more to platform. So, it has, like, it has been multi platform before, but I'm talking about, like,. I think it's the fact that they're pushing the medium of video games so hard with like FF16 and especially FF7 Rebirth uh, yeah. is maybe hurting it a little bit because obviously yeah. only a PS5 can like run that shit. Yeah. And uh, there's a reason why these games are coming to PC as well because yeah, PCs are still like, well, if you've got strong enough specs, they can yeah. run those games too. Yeah. But the fact that they uh, go for the exclusivity of the PlayStation early on yeah, I think, uh, I think it, it hurts, hurts the brand. sales. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if when the next Nintendo console comes out, we see like FF7, like Rebirth and Final Fantasy uh, 7 Remake on the Switch 2 as well. Like, yeah. it would not shock me. Yeah, if the Switch can handle it, yeah. which hopefully, as I long as it's at least PS4 level of power, we should do it that. Could. I reckon they'll port it. I reckon they will. I feel like they want to do that. Like, I feel like they're desperate to get those games off of, like, the, the just the PS5 exclusivity. I feel like yeah. they're desperate to do it now. Because mm -hmm. I think, um, what's the, uh, that one they just announced is going to be on all platforms as well, uh, from Square Enix. Oh, Visions of, uh, I think it's Visions of Mana. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's going like on all but I think it'll probably be on Switch too when it gets announced as well. But yeah, mm -hmm. the new Mana game is going to be on like all platforms as well. So I think they're definitely doing this all platform focus thing going on now. So yeah, hopefully it works out for them. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, Video we, games for all, unless you're Nintendo. But yeah. But that makes sense though. <laughs> it does make very, yeah. very, very big amount of sense, especially yeah. with uh, the way things are going. Yeah, yeah. Um, we keep alluding to these things. Yeah, we, uh... yeah we can go into the. the whole okay, thing. well, what's first, Ben? Well, what's number one on the list uh, of um, horrible things that have been going on today? Well, we can talk about the bad stuff with uh, PlayStation since we're still on. Oh the my fucking god! So, sorry. so that whole thing with the the PlayStation moving over to multi. Speaking of multi-platform, PlayStation are not doing multi-platform in the right way. Do you know what it feels like? It feels like they're still trying to be exclusive on a different console. Do you know what I mean? Like, the way they're doing Helldivers... Okay, the way they did Helldivers 2, Dirty, was one thing. Uh, that was really bad. Like, I, cool. they're li I don't get it. Like, you want to go onto the PC and be on Steam or whatever, and then you lock off the game to like a bunch of countries that don't have PSN. A like, hundred plus countries I know, to be exact. It's really silly, isn't it? Because it's like, what do you want then? Do you want money? Do you not want money? Like, <laughs> what, what? I'm confused. You're leaving a bunch. Like, that is a whole lot of money you are cutting off. That is a lot of money. Because you. It's. It seems. It just feels. At that point, it feels like extortion. Yeah. Like legit, like legit crimes are being made almost uh, to the point where I saw that with Hell of Dollars 2 uh, and I saw that you need a PSN account to even play the fucking game. Yeah, that you know, people have already bought the yeah. game before this so malarkey even got involved uh, yeah. and locked a bunch of people out in different countries and it was like, I saw that I thought, that can't be illegal. Like, sh surely this is a crime. This feels like a crime. Yeah, because you basically con you've basically stolen the game from them. They bought it, 
they bought the game. No refunds either, because of the whole two hour Steam thing. They did get they did get a refund. Which they for did, that. and yeah. in the end. Yeah. But at the time it was like, Jesus, the whole fucking place was up in flames as a oh, result. No, I know. And you know what? And the worst and the fight the worst part is is that they so like okay, this isn't the first time that companies have tried to get an account linked to, onto a game. You have to sign in and sign up to this yeah, fucking yeah, company. Yeah. Like, Doom Eternal did it with Bethesda. Oh, yeah, and Bethesda that, did That annoyed me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Because it's like, I just, I just want to play my gun shooter power power game. I don't yeah, want any of this yeah, online yeah, malarkey yeah. getting involved with this shit. Yeah. Fucking force me to sign up and make an account. Get, yeah. like, emails I don't want and bullshit like that. People, people, people just don't want that. Some people are like, oh, it's so easy to just make a Sony account and do the thing. But, like, you, some people just don't want to fuff around with that. And, like, it feels just... It feels intrusive. Uh, yeah. And, uh... A lot of people who just want to stay the hell away from Sony and PlayStation, you know, yeah. the, the PC gamers, and yeah. sort of stay in their comfy bubble. Of, of, it's going to feel invasive, yeah. to be honest. And that is a really invasive way of getting in someone's grill with the whole set up account sort of thing. So it's like, oh, fuck off, man. I don't want that shit. And then there's and some but, people. And, but, then there's, but then there's also the fact that it doesn't even exist in countries. They don't even get to play the game that you already paid was... for. I didn't even know PlayStation didn't exist in like like obviously PSA. I didn't know play PSN didn't exist in like a bunch of countries. Yeah, a lot like, of things have come to light. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the news. hell? PlayStation don't have much of a reach with PSN. Why are you trying to force it then? Like, and it, they're still doing it as well. They're yeah. going to do it with God of War PC as well. Is that only for the multiplayer part, or is it like the 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 um? Right, of God of War doesn't have multiplayer. Oh no, not God of War. Wait, was it God of War or was it Horizon? God Sorry. of... They're doing... I mean, I think at this point they're going to try all their games, mate. Yeah, I think this is like what they're doing forward. But it seems like they're trying to cut themselves off from money. I'm mm. no, I'm no like business expert. But if there are 100 countries of untapped potential customers checking out your game and you get money from that, why would you cut them off? I don't understand it. You know, I mean, like logically from a business sense, it makes no sense. They're trying to get their foot in the door. Because I think PSN uh, already has like loads of users going on. Uh, and I maybe, I mean, I, I'm not, a, I, like you said, like we're not businessmen. This I'm is just like expert, the opinions just, yeah. from an outside perspective. And, but you, it's like uh, if they've already got enough monthly users for PSN, but they're still pushing for like people to get accounts and. I mean, accounts and PSN, they're the same thing, right? Yeah. To, you know. Well, I yeah, mean, yeah yeah, 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 PSN accounts. At this point, it, it, at this point, it just feels like corporate greed, which is like the, the big go-to, um, of understandably, for a lot of things. Because it feels like... They tried yeah. it, and they, they tried it. They tried to pull a fast one, but yeah. it blew up in their faces yeah. as a result. And it obviously wasn't a good way to make their, like, debut. I'm like, hey, let's try and integrate ourselves into the whole Steam network, and... Yeah, and, yeah. Well, we wanna know how that went with Hell Divers too, so... I mean, it was... The funny thing is, when the game came out on Steam, it was a resounding success for PlayStation. Like, it was so success... It was, like, their most successful game... Honestly, most successful game they've ever done. I think it sold 12 million, right? Yes, massive. Uh, that's, like, massive for them, right? And then they go and blow it up by being like, now we're integration PSN. Like, oh, now it's forced on you. When the wording, they even changed the wording of it as well. Like, the actual wording. Uh, <laughs> so it was like, oh man, that's some shenanigans. Yeah, sugar coat it a little bit, just so we can entice a few more people to our, you know, our city business plan. I don't know, it just seems like they're competing with Xbox for users on their like Xbox Game Pass. Look how many PSN people we have now. Nice. Like, oh. I don't know. It's really silly. Microsoft, though. You know what? One day, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna. One day, we're gonna get. We're finally gonna get the Bloodborne PC port. Oh, and below, it's gonna be we're, go, PSN. we're gonna see it. Yeah. PSN account required, and Absolutely. and they can do that as well because there is an online part to yeah. Bloodborne as yeah, well. Is, so there they'll, they'll, yeah. they're definitely gonna prey on 100%, that. So they're gonna look do forward. It. Look forward to seeing that uh, monkey's paw wish. Mate, they are hundred. If they're Manifest. doing it. With, if they're doing it with God of War, they're doing it with Horizon for being When or even if uh, it eventually happens. It's not in it's not an if, it's a when. I'm yeah. sorry, it's a when and it will be with PSM required. There will be and a price. It's a price for everything be, good. 
There is going to be so many people angry at that because I've like Bloodborne has been touted. As I like, mean, oh my god, that's the big like uh, hill of money that they're sitting on right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and yeah, who knows when we'll get it or even if we get it. But if by some miracle we do get it, there's going to be a caveat to it. Isn't it up to FromSoft though? If they get it or not? Like FromSoft well, it doesn't it doesn't belong to FromSoft? I don't think. Bloodborne no, they made doesn't belong. But they made it, didn't they? From stuff made. They made it. it. Yeah. But the the rights are oh Sony. Oh, oh wow, that's funny. Okay. Yeah. yeah probably Hence why it. every other from software game has got a PC port except for Bloodborne. Okay. Well, like. It's I their mean, game, but it's not their game. There's, I mean, a, oh, there's a whole can of worms on like the whole like who who Bloodborne belongs to. Yeah. And who it doesn't, and like there's yeah. no, there's people saying things about their coding and how they have to recode oh, no, the entire thing yeah. in order to get like a because even the PS5 hasn't even got a no, proper Bloodborne port. No, it hasn't. Port. Hasn't got it. I feel so, like it's so hot. I feel like the code yeah. for Bloodborne must be absolute nightmare. Like <laughs> I don't know. I don't I mean, know why it hasn't be. been ported. It's got to be a nightmare. That's the only reason I can think it hasn't been ported. They're like it's so bad that we would have to remake the whole game. And it's free money. Yeah. Um, so there's something holding it back. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, but yeah, the next, the so, next, <laughs> next culprit. Oh, come yeah. on down, <laughs> number two, yeah. Microsoft. Oh, oh my god. Come my on god. down. Make sure you throw a bunch of pies uh, on their way down to the podium. Because oh. um. Oh my god, oh, man. Microsoft was so bad. Oh my god, that's terrible, oh, though. That's a that actually like physically upset me when I saw oh, the news. Oh, it's so guided by Tango Gameworks, man. So, multiple studio closures, including uh, the people who made Prey, uh, which I think was Arcane. They yeah. also made Dishonored, I believe. Uh, Arcane um, Austin, I think it is. I think it was another Arcane, like another part of Arcane. It was like two parts of Arcane. I think it was Austin with the one. Arcane Austin, uh, yeah. And um, yes, yeah, Arcane, Arcane Austin, uh, and Tango uh, Game Works. Alpha Dog work. Oh, Alpha Dog Games, oh, Roundhouse yeah, they... Games, and of course, uh, fucking uh... Tango Game Works. <sighs> <sighs> Did yeah. they go out and say that they want smaller games to yeah. win awards? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, literally <laughs> okay. the day after closing right. Dango Game Works. Yeah, High Fire Rush won a multiple awards. Uh, no. A small game, uh, big old see? underdog game pass story. Uh, yeah. Fucking did, let's close them down. Did you see the, did We you? need to focus our works, we need to focus our efforts uh, on like a series that can make the moolah. Oh. And get the people in, um, oh, and uh, so, uh, so, uh, oh, so I don't want to lose my temper over this, but I, yeah, it just I, make, this whole thing makes me very angry, Ben. It, it makes is. me really, really, really fucking angry. I was so annoyed. Like, did you see the um, thing that Tango Gameworks put out when they said that, and then showed all the awards, and he goes, "This wasn't enough for you." Like. Oh, did they actually do that? Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Fucking good. Yeah. So they should. And, I mean, they they touted, like, like Sarah Bond went on to, like, the, uh, I think it was, like, a day after or two days after, onto, like, um, the Microsoft, like, talk thing or whatever. And they yeah. said, about, they said, why did you, like, close, like, Tango Gameworks and stuff? And her, she gave the most PR speech where she said absolutely it. nothing. She said nothing. She literally rambled for like a minute with her eyes blinking super fast while saying nothing. Like, beep, I was just boop, like, beep. Yeah. It was like, oh, success is uh, measured in different ways for different studios. Uh, like, okay, that says nothing. Like, mm -hmm. Sorry by closing a bunch of studios and completely erasing people's jobs. Yeah. Because we gotta focus on prioritizing the high impact titles. Yeah. Get into oh. that blockbuster of games, I believe the quote was. And, yeah. Oh. And the beloved worlds which you've nurtured over many decades, like Call of Duty. And, uh. Fallout. Fallout. And Elder Scrolls. Oh, no, it was bad, man. The like... worst thing about this, man, is that 
all it's, the people lost it's their scaring job. people yeah, and it, it feels like even if you make like a massive hit that's yeah. everyone loved it and sold a bunch and got loads of rewards like high fire rush did yeah. which is my game of the year by the way yeah that yeah, you're, 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 you're not really safe it's scared. It's you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you're it's not. Like, so you're you're actually in danger. Working you're, up, you're successful. Yeah. You work. You work under Microsoft, uh, and uh, it's not. It's not a comfy job, and you're gonna be living there in fear that you could be next. And and you could also, you could create the best piece of art, the most award-winning video game in the entire world. But Microsoft can just click their fingers any moment, and then that's it. You're gone. And the guttering thing is the reason why they went is because they were successful. Like. They wanted to make a Hi-Fi Rush 2. I don't know if you're aware of this. They were yeah, pitching, no, they, they, they were, were pitching for it. Yeah, they, they were pitching Rush 2. And that is exactly why they went. They were like, oh my god, do you want to make another one with a higher budget? No, thank you. We're cutting you. Yeah. That is honestly the truth. Like, they cut them for a quick profit. Like, it looks good for the shareholders because it's like, look how much money we're giving you guys. Like, well, hey, like, we're doing so well. And I think mm -hmm. the funny thing was when um, Sir when uh, Sir Bond was out on the display, I think even the cameraman was like visibly angry because he they showed a graph of like their growth and like yep. well she was saying all that and it was like basically still like it only had dropped a tiny bit like it's still super successful so they're like you didn't need to cut them like you didn't need to do this you you you're absolutely insane like. It's quick term profit for, you know, decades of like, you could be getting a long term profit. You could be like, you could have been like um, Nintendo. You finally had like a really amazing studio under your belt. You, you could have nurtured it and grown it out and like made really good games with it. But Microsoft don't actually care about games. They, um, they gotta be the Bethesda company. They actually don't. They don't care about games. They only care about like crushing the competition. I mean, we can we can talk about you know higher ups and shareholders and execs who uh, yeah, you know, they... only see the industry as a bunch of graphs yeah. and numbers. Yeah. But we'd sadly just be repeating ourselves with we all the all the horrible stuff that's happened to game devs last yeah, year so, and I now feel this so bad year for, for as game well right now. and it's funny because uh, Jeff Keighley has recently put a tweet about Summer Games Fest coming out yeah. and he said that it's going to be a light year and yeah. it's like gee oh, yeah, I fucking why. wonder why yeah yeah right yeah and uh, yeah it's it's really sad because like the artists just can't work on the art anymore it feels like an industry which has been pushing itself so much to the bit where i, I feel like the breaking point is slowly ruining its head to be honest because it's part uh, this is an industry that only flourishes for businesses yeah. when it's constantly pushing the, the format but unfortunately this format cannot be sustained because we're overworking people yeah. real people uh, who yeah. are seen as just digits uh, yeah. on uh, a fucking excel sheet oh, no. and uh, when they can't do it that's why ai yeah. has been a thing that companies been pushing for and of like course, it's, it cuts more it's people. really good i know this sounds like a real like i know it's a generic a doomer like a thing to say but uh, like blade runner is getting closer and closer on oh, no, our mate honestly <laughs> I, look at ai now it's, and where it's going it's, it's fucking like, sad, it's, sad. it's so sad art is gonna die i don't think we're gonna get a pre-2 then no i don't think we're gonna get pre-2 <sighs> um so microsoft are assholes uh playstation yeah fuck them being assholes as well yeah uh, it's honestly it made me lose a lot of goodwill like i've i've been the uh, me personally uh, I've kind of put up with a lot of their shit over the years because companies will always make silly mistakes, right? Yeah. These do, these don't feel like mis mistakes. No, these, these do feel like purposeful, like quick growth. This just feels like quick Madison. Growth. Yeah, no. It's yeah, just and, quick and, growth. and of course, and greed. It's long. It's, it's short. It's been too growth. much like greed now. Yeah, yeah. but it's dumb. It, they did. The, do you know what? They made this exact same mistake. Do you remember Fable Studio? Uh, what are they called? Lionhead. Yeah. Yeah, they did this with Lionhead. They, mm -hmm. This is the exact same thing they did with Lionhead, and it's like, you're just making the same mistake again. Remember when you cut all those studios and then you bought all, of, bought like a bunch of new ones? Like, you just fired all those new ones you got, or some of them anyway. 
It's like you're mm. doing the exact same thing. So yeah, it's just quick term growth. It's stupid and it's unsustainable. Yeah. It's a so, horrible cycle as well because like, uh, you know, I'm glad that people are more aware of yeah. the horrible, horrible things that happen to people the in the biz. Time. Because there's been, I mean, there's been so many cases of like yeah. really, really gross misconduct in, in game right. dev offices as well, and uh, but obviously, it, it like you know, it gets people to strike, gets people to speak out. Uh, yeah, I think honestly, like, but at the same time, it's like, <sighs> it, it, I, I, I hope it's doing something, man. I, I yeah. really hope that it's making a difference, and I, I hope that one day we can just stop. I kind of hope that games just. Stop advancing. Yeah, and, they should. And, 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 and if, like in in a way where like the art and the artists can actually do their thing and flourish. And, yeah, and that's why indie studios and oh, like are the beacon right now. Are doing are, are the beacons of hope uh, yeah. right now? Absolutely. Because indie because games keep getting like oh like honestly when you say an indie game, we're getting now, loads of some, bangers some, right now. Some some of them are just like a I, I mean like my in my opinion are like. AAA quality, like in terms of like their idea, their vision, and everything. Like even if the graphics, it should aren't be as called it AAA. Like it, it, it should the be. the AAA in. studios. But of course, the def the definition, yeah, the, the, the definition now is uh, sadly has really negative connotations yeah. put to it. Yeah, it's like a AAA, and especially quadruple A. Oh. Just feel like they're in a perpetu in a perpetual fight with each other. It's ridiculous. And it's just the most. I, like, I when hate I hear, it. When I hear I AA, hate, AA, fucking hate when it. When I hear like AA or like AAA triple A or whatever, I'm like, oh, I'm staying away from that game. Like it's probably yeah. shit. Like probably full of microtransactions and shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like it's it's immediately a red flag now. Whenever yeah. I hear the word triple A and quadruple A, when and I you know hear the darling, no, I'm like, oh, I'm like, darling. okay, a game. Yes, yeah. let's go. <laughs> a video game, cool. And you know what, man? I really hate to admit this. I really hate to admit it. Yeah. But Nintendo were right. Oh yeah, Nintendo are absolutely right. Nintendo are doing just fucking fine, man. Well, they can keep on the keeping the exact same franchise they've had for 40 years. Keep on releasing their games and like you know, doing like sequel after sequel and dip, because at least they're innovative with it. Oh, they're always innovative, and, aren't uh, they? Yeah. And they? They've shown that it works because it's um, been working, man. I mean, like this is the thing, right? Like Nintendo are in it for the long. Like there was actually an interview. It, it, it was kind of crazy. There was an interview in 2004 with uh, the late, um, you know, Iwata. yeah, Water. It was 2004, and he said, uh, "We we saw what the I don't know the exact quote. You can look up the interview, but it was like I think a, I, I I know one quote of his. But he was like, we saw interview. where like the industry was going, and we like wanted to move to a different like you know, and that was like in 2004. It was like Xbox and PlayStation." Like, mm -hmm. this was about when they were about to launch the uh, Wii, I believe. Somewhere yeah. around there. Uh, you know what? Awa a was right in, in so much regards because it was like... Games don't need to keep getting better graphics and stuff because it costs more money and more, like, time. Yeah, the quote, like, yeah. The quote that I remember from him is that one day the video games industry will hit a breaking point. Yeah, well... If we uh, keep on pushing it. Yeah. And uh, I feel like... Uh, we're getting there. Yeah, the, it, it feels like we're getting there, to be honest. I uh, mean, like... The thing is, Nintendo, right, is that <laughs> it's funnier. Yeah. You look at you look at their games, and, and uh, they're not exactly the most, like, graphically powerful, right? No. I mean, look, I mean, fucking look at Pokemon, man. I mean, oh, obviously, yeah, that's not yeah. a good example, because that's, like, egregious. And, yeah. But, you get, yeah. but like, even, even Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom... Like you look at those games and you think, and you zoom up to like a wall and you think, that's a fucking ugly texture, dude. Yeah. But then you like, you zoom out and you're like, damn, this game is like really pretty. It's really beautiful and uh, it works really well on the Switch of all things. This is great. And it's like, a gra graphic fidelity is so secondary. And, yeah, of course. And yeah. gameplay always comes first. And you know what, man? That's how it fucking should be. That's always in my the way opinion. it should be, though. Because they keep pushing the always, graphics. Yeah. I saw a tweet from like Sony, I think it was, on like like a zoom into like Kratos and Alloy. 
and like, well, which did the best graphics? And it's like, I fucking don't care about eyeballs, man. I just want the game. Yeah, I want the stop gameplay. Stop pushing the graphics and push the gameplay. Yeah. So that's what Nintendo are doing. Yeah, that's what They're Nintendo are doing. They're selling fucking Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild at 40 fucking quid still. And is it hurting them? No. <laughs> no. Surprisingly not. It's working out for them. Well, that's why like Nintendo games never go down in price, really. <laughs> yeah, but, they don't like, need to. Yeah. Keep on that. Their their games can stay overpriced because the yeah. Switch has been like the fucking biggest banger in their catalog behind like the oh, Wii. Oh yeah, I know. And oh, like man. and that. the 3DS. Yes. Uh, and DS, the 3D, so yeah. yeah I think the you, Switch you, is about. You can't to, say that. Then you can't say that they're not being innovative in their in their gameplay and and their games. And I mean, Nintendo. But this is a nice comfy bubble. Like they they lo they laughed right. Microsoft out of their offices when oh, they tried yeah, to yeah, absorb yeah, them for good yeah, reason. Yeah. And it's like yeah, too right. Yeah, they um, can just get on with it. They're, they're fine. It's Nintendo are good. I feel like get on with it. they just recently hired like 400 new people or something to uh, uh, their company and like mm. they've just grown like they've just kept on growing and yep. they've like got i think they're like seven thousand strong now or like 700 780 000 strong or something so yeah. like they've got a lot of people and obviously they're uh, getting ready for the switch successor they need more people obviously that's soon yeah, yeah. More hands on deck with this one yeah but like they, I have to say, like their plan is working because, like, their their sustainable growth is like healthy growth. It's not like bad growth. It's it's very healthy. Like the company is in such a good position right now, while the rest yeah. of the industry falls apart. <laughs> My um girlfriend uh, who um is a Devon yeah said that um she looked up like like she's heard things about what it's like to work for Nintendo. Yeah, and it's like. Uh, yeah, man, it, it sounds sounds nice. Yeah, to be does. honest, they, like, they don't have they don't have they get a, regular like, holidays. Yeah, uh, they don't have a and they're they're left to work uh, in their own like little private spaces so they can focus on what they need to do. Uh, yeah. and it it just seems like a very human place to work. Yeah, in. Yeah, they don't. But from seem what like, I have yeah. been told, uh, yeah, I mean. The, there might be some other examples of it not being no, great. No, yeah, mean, you know, yeah, but that's all jobs. Japan's it, culture really? is very like, yeah, yeah, like you know, industry focused as well, especially like pushing medium and stuff. But Nintendo are just like they're, they're pushing like the gameplay more than like perform. The well, best? I mean, we we're we're always gonna beg for better performance in Nintendo. Let's oh, be real, yeah, yeah. especially the Switch. Yeah. But Switch Two is hopefully promising with that. But honestly, really, at the end of the day, we just want games, and the artists should be allowed to be artists. Yeah. And, work 100%. on their art which are the games and sadly it's an industry today which the entertainment industry is just a big big booming business it's bigger in hollywood now yeah and uh, it's, it, the, do you know the, the worst push thing and the, the greed is industry. just gonna you see bleed into it do you know what the worst thing for the games industry was going mainstream mm -hmm. like honestly the more mainstream it got the worse it gets <laughs> Video games were a mistake. No, well, no, it was nice ben when it was plays. like, yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> it was nice when it was like, you know, the PS2 days and stuff where it was like, you know, it was, uh, it was good, it was good times because it wasn't well, as mainstream, you know, as well, it is ben, now. Go on Steam, play Ultra Cure, play yeah. Pro Country. I oh, know. All the, play, all the yeah, all the all indie the games, games that are, are doing great. Yeah. That are lit, that, that a lot of lot, a lot of games which are literally uh, following the graphic style of, of like PS1 PS2, and PS2 yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah, Nightmare, sort of not Bloodborne cart, which is yeah. I think is out right now for free. Yeah, need to get on that as well. Yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, speaking of Nintendo, yeah, we we got the announcement that the Switch successor is gonna be uh, coming uh, physically. Uh, like they're gonna have it this like between now and 2025 is when we'll like get the like yeah they said april didn't they we'll see the switch successor yeah between Shit. now and 2025 we could see it announced it could be a, it's finally it, happening it's, it's gonna happen some point between now and, and like yeah april 20 may, uh, or may could it come it could come out in may like it's a very high likelihood that we were gonna mm. see this thing this year like i reckon after the Nintendo Direct that's coming this month, there's a Nintendo Direct this month, uh, we're gonna see the Switch successor after that. So, man, it's, it's soon. It is. It is. You know what's funny? 
With the Nintendo Switch, it feels like it's about time that another console comes out. Yeah. Uh, PlayStation 5 feels like it's petty even begun. Yeah, I mean, the Switch has had a really long I mean, we've talked about this before, but... Yeah. Yeah, uh, they're, they're calling it... What are they saying? It's uh, four years into its life already, and it's not... Halfway even, there, yeah. And it's uh, getting its first... Ex- it's getting its second exclusive with uh, Astro Bot. Uh, the, the real Astro. That game. game looks really good. It does. It does. It looks like a really <laughs> that good game. game. Looks really fun. Yeah. It looks like uh, a fun uh, platform with a lot of colors yeah. and shit. And uh, the homages to like the other like franchises I are kind of cute. I find it ironic cute. that the the uh, idea of that game is you go around rescuing. Uh, PlayStation characters. <laughs> Rescuing IPs from yeah. the clutches of the company. <laughs> it's a bit on the nose, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, they, 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 it's just a little bit. They even made a Bloodborne Hunter Astro Bot. And it was yeah. like, here's your Bloodborne remaster, everyone. Oh my god. The, that hurts a little bit because they're aware. They, yeah. That's shown that they're aware. It's like, ah, oh, okay. Yeah, well. wasn't Team Asobi the ones that survived the. Uh, they got uh, place uh, Japan Japan studio dissolved into Team Asobi. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, they yeah. made the Astro Playroom that you got with your PS5. Did you play that, by the way? I didn't know, oh, but I knew I knew of it. it. You should play. Maybe it. I should. I mean, it's on yeah. your PS5, isn't it? Like, I've got an overpriced console for me to check that game out. You Let's should. fucking I mean, go. I mean, it's, it's probably <laughs> worth checking out because it's oh, like. Man. That that's like the big avert, like obviously the full game, like that that was like a taster of what they were doing, and now this is like yeah. the full, the full game sort of thing. That's cr- no, it, it looks really fun. It does. There's a good trailer really good. for it. I actually want to play it, but like the best thing I'm that was shown on get, State of Play. Yeah, honestly, that's. Do State you want to talk about State of Play? Yeah, because we didn't get react to, that, to it. Yeah. Do you know what, guys? Uh, we we've got something to confess. Uh, me and Ben uh, did not react to the State of Play I... because after the shit with Sony and the way things are, we knew it was going to be head of mid. Yeah, it really. As the was. Americans it, say, it was. It wasn't good. I watched it in my own time. I was like. Me too. This is really, really. Oh crap. my god, Concave got slammed. There was. Have you seen the like to dislike ratio oh on that mate. game? Oh mate, Concave. Uh, what was it called? Co- was it Con- Concave? Concave. Concave or Concave? Concord? No way. Actually, what? Concord. Shit. Well, that, that just goes to fucking show. Hang on yeah, a minute. Yeah, Concord. I think it was called. I was Concord like, Day. There's a music venue called Concord Day. No, that's cool. <laughs> no, it's, it's Concord. Con- yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. I was like, Do you know it's- what, man? It's I I I saw the the trailer the the cinematic trailer and I was like this is super Guardians of the Galaxy yeah but I wasn't like against it I no. was like oh this could be like a cool like single player like space adventure no it's a fucking hero shooter yeah I was like what it's a hero shooter and like what is it doing different to Overwatch it's not. It's exactly the same as Overwatch. I was like, this no is- hero shooters. Uh, they try. They're trying to be like Overwatch. You got the Marvel game as well, which admittedly looks a little bit different because it's not all like. I'll admittedly uh, say that the fact that it's not all guns. Yeah. Definitely kind of like gives it a little bit of like an, a unique quote an, unquote an, edge an to it. Edge, yeah. I, I would like to hope. Uh, from what I've seen from the gameplay trailer, it's like, okay, no, it's it's the Marvel IP, so it's going to sell. And yeah. it's a hero shooter based off of that, so that'd be cool. You know what would be cool, Ben? Yeah. What if they made a fighting game based on Marvel? And what if they maybe, just maybe, they could do a cool crossover with another video game company? Well, Capcom. That would be really cool. That would be cool, wouldn't it? What if, what if, what if Marvel you know? and Capcom did a cool sweet. crossover? That would be pretty, that's <laughs> never going to happen again, though. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Yeah, play the, there was there was like some in like a few interesting. I will say though the um uh, okay uh, I don't think the Silent Hill two game looked good. I okay, mean, so uh, this so I would like to clear something up before I even give opinions on this. I have only played the first two hours of Silent Hill two. Yeah. I have not played the Ben. If you no, played the whole game, no, I played it. I played it a long time ago. Like I did, I have played the whole game, but it was a long did you beat time. it? I was really young. I don't even know if I beat it or not. But uh, okay, um, I, so, I vaguely uh, remember all the creepy shit. I don't have a lot of strong I don't have kind a of massive... opinions on it because again, I have uh, not played the original enough. But 
from what I have played so far. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they, it feels like they've feels kind like of moved away from atmosphere and kind of gone a bit more closer towards like Combat. the gameplay and go like there was a trailer that came out and it was just like pew pew pew. The, I will say though, and I'm like, this is very noisy. I don't remember Silent Hill 2 being this noisy. I will say though, um, uh, the one thing I will say positive about the Silent Hill 2 like remake or whatever, the town looks absolutely fucking amazing. Like the way they they nailed the, what the town looks like, like the fog and everything and all that. But yeah. yeah, in terms of like, I mean, I feel like we'd have to play it to see. But the the combat encounter rate looks way higher than uh, what it, it was does in, in the original. In the, in, than in the original. Yeah, I don't like, remember finding a lot really, at all. Combat it wasn't, wasn't really a focus. focus. It wasn't no. really a focus of Silent Hill. It was so. story. It was at Mo, You know. Yeah. But they've got the same composer who did the music uh, yeah, for the OG music's Silent Hill 2, right? Really good as well, right? Well, I've heard from the trailer, it's like, I can hear, like, some decent yeah. tracks in there. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to think. I think uh, they're People have chase... got loads of complaints over, um, um, what's the main character's name again? Uh. uh oh, God, it's, it's been a while. Again, I've only played out the first two hours of Silent Hill 2. Um, but, like, they've, apparently, the, the models don't look fantastic uh, remastered. Like, um, there's a like woman the character. Of the, there's a woman. Um, there's a woman character who uh, has is getting a lot of flack for her remake design. And do you know what, man? It, this on Hill Two just uh, and I got this from just playing a little bit of it. It just feels like si a game like Sign Hill Two worked for the era it was in. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Yeah. I feel like modernizing Silent Hill 2 just does not work for a game like Silent Hill 2. Like, the, the, the iffy graphics and the weird voice acting uh, and the yeah. alien soundtrack just fucking worked for its feel and identity back in the yeah. day. And e e like, even with like the loading screen fog war, that, that became part of its identity, right? Yeah, they have got the fog in the actual There's a reason. Well, so there's a reason cool. why... Yeah, that, that's cool, at least. Because there's yeah. a reason why the ports for Silent Hill 2 got slammed, because they got rid of that stuff. Yeah. Like, people are like, where's my fucking fog, man? Where's my dreary UK weather? This <laughs> yeah. is bullshit. Yeah, yeah, a game like Silent Hill 2, it, it, just, feels, it just feels really important. The limitations made the personality. All the stuff that makes it... Yeah, Again, it just has a lot to it gonna, that has an identity. We're gonna and roll back uh, to the uh, whole idea. Difficult to remake it. We're gonna roll back to the whole idea that having unlimited power in your graphics and stuff and not having limitations is actually damaging the games industry. Limitations yeah. actually make games better. By we're gonna have a massive <laughs> unlimited power. We're gonna. Have, we're, you're right. We're literally gonna have a Darth Plagueis the wise moment. With the uh, video game industry. Yeah. <laughs> How ironic. Oh man. That's why Nintendo <laughs> are doing so well because they 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 limit them. They do these limitations. Some of them are dumb though. Like <laughs> the Paper Mario one. I'm sorry, I don't agree with that. Was bad. That was just bad move. That was a terrible move. And I'm very glad they're correcting that now. Okay. Yeah. Like whole, yeah. Do you know the whole Paper Mario thing where it's like the characters can't be original anymore. They have to be Toads and. Like the standard Mario characters, that was the whole thing. Oh, I happened. didn't know about that. Yeah, that happened with uh, no, like after sticker star. new characters. Yeah, no, 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 with uh, sticker star and everything. But they put out a survey recently after the oh while while Thousand Year Door was going on. It was like, what do you like about the Paper Mario series? Is it original characters? Is it like? And like people are taking that survey and they're just all being like original characters, storyline, like RPG, yeah. like Please. bring it back, bring it back. Yeah, <laughs> just do the thing which Mara has always done, which is bring out a new game, and but do put like a wacky Nintendo aspects to it, and or like a gimmick that works for it. Like you went yeah. from Sunshine, which had flood, and yeah. you went to Galaxy, which is just like zero gravity stuff uh, and like orbital planetary like uh, platforming. Yeah. And then you had Odyssey, which had Cappy, yeah, which yeah. Uh, was amazing, and it was really good. Oh no, just I meant like that. in the but, bring, but keep, but keep on like bringing new characters and shit. And yeah, yeah, no, for the love of God, please, because yeah. we like that. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I meant like in the Paper Mario series specifically, they weren't allowed to like put oh, okay. like original, like you know how they dressed up like toads and stuff in Thousand Year Door and stuff, like yeah, and all that. They Everyone's weren't getting allowed the toads to do that. Treatment. They weren't, they weren't allowed to do that anymore. But like, I think things That's are changing. I think things are changing now. Where I think they are going back to realizing this is what people want. So. I mean, if we want to go to a real can of worms, a lot of people are a lot more aware about a certain character in Thousand Year Door thanks to the remaster. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's yeah. funny to me, because yeah. in the original Japanese, and, and it was implied as well in the localization of OG Thousand Year Door. It was implied, yeah, but it wasn't. I always I thought she was always trans. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think it's just a... F I think it's just a fucking stupid minority, as yeah. as fucking usual when it comes to this shit. When it <laughs> yeah. comes to the forefront, and to me, uh, personally, it's like, well, yeah, it's always been implied that she was trans, yeah. so you might you might as well just put her yeah in the dialogue there, yeah. Yeah, it's still implied confirm, by the conf dialogue. Confirm though. it. Yeah, Why not? It's just more like, it's more he heavily implied by the dialogue this time rather than just being like a little <laughs> wink. Like, Some people are taking it lightly to the point where they're saying like the stupid vocal minority that no one gives a shit about yeah. and who are just like fucking assholes are basically just build them just like shit posting her. Yeah. Like her, her actual asshole sister on the internet. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's a pretty accurate representation of what's yeah, going on. It's funny. But sadly in today's day and age, you, you can't you can't avoid discourse, that sort of thing. The same with like um Ubisoft's new Assassin's Creed game with um with Yasuke. Oh god, yeah, the controversy around that one. Yeah. Yeah. It feels now, like I'm every not, game. I am not an Ask Creed now. man at all. Like no. I I've not I've, I've oh, only no, played yeah. uh, um I've only played a bit of Mirage and that's it. And that was a pretty decent like game. Yeah. For a first time like Assassin's Creed player. Yeah, god. yeah, yeah. Because I know a lot of, a lot of people are re-burned out on the series right now. Oh yeah. But like uh, the, this game, oh my god, the controversy's been pretty fucking wild of this. Isn't it? But he's a real like mythical, like he's a real no, he's a real person. He was a real person in uh, Japan. And he really, in myths, in I myth think he was the retainer to Nobunaga, who is yeah. a, a a pretty famous uh, mythological uh, historic samurai man. I don't know a lot about like no, I don't, Japanese I don't folklore, know either, at, no. folklore myths. I don't, I'm not, yeah, I'm not I don't want to say things out of my depth because yeah. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Joe, have you have you seen? I have got a video. I got to show you after. Oh, oh boy. Wait, I'll, I'll send it to you. It, it, it was it was it was very funny. Hold on. Uh, I'll send it to you after uh, we've done mm -hmm. the podcast. But uh, yeah, yeah, the whole controversy around Assassin's Creed was silly as well. I thought because I was yeah. like, I was like, and. It's just, it's Kevin, just. Do you know what it feels like? It just feels like rate. I mean, I'm not the the vote. Not just the very loud. It's a very small amount of people, but honestly, it just yeah. feels like racism. Oh uh, well, yeah, but uh, a yeah. minority of people are sadly are horribly yeah. racist. Yeah, sadly. Just fuck them. Yeah. Why do we have to listen to them? Because sadly, they are loud motherfuckers. On oh, the social no, medias. I'm gonna be able to find the video. Oh, yeah, it sucks. I'll, I'll find it if you But want, so. do you know what's funny, bro? Like, Yasuke is like uh, a big figure in history or whatever. Do, yeah. Don't Assassin's Creed always do that, where they take liberties of historical yeah. figures? Yeah, I mean, didn't they do that with uh, Assassin's Creed 2 with like. Don't you Air fucking Sierra. use Da Vinci <laughs> machinery to yeah, like fly yeah. around and stuff in one yeah. of the games or something? Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. well, it's, it's fucking. I've heard stuff that Japanese people are kind of upset that you can't play as a Japanese person in the Samurai Assassin's Creed I think you can, game. though. It's a female. It's a, a, a woman, though. I think it's a woman Japanese. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, that... That said, that says it all in this kind of social media climate, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. You can oh. play as a Japanese person. Yeah, she's a woman. <laughs> 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 Why can't we have the nice things, Ben? <gasps> oh man, it's silly. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll leave us on some, oh. some uh, cool, some cool news that just happened very recently today. I don't know if you're aware of this, Joe. This is some okay. cool news that happened today. Finally. Yeah. Did you know Like a Dragon's getting an Amazon Prime live action series? Yeah, that was announced today. Yeah. And apparently a common rider is going to be an actor for it. Yeah. Okay, I can dig it. Sure. I honestly think after the Fallout <laughs> series, I, I, I honestly have faith Amazon will do this well. But I don't yeah. know how it's going to translate. 
to like if I hope my hope for this series is if they keep the stupid stuff still. They've got to. That's just Yakuza's like, whole identity. Yeah, yeah. Like don't just focus on the like the like the really uh, dark like you know yakuza stuff focus on the dumb stuff as well it needs to be overly brutal it needs to stupidly dumb he moves where q is like power driving a man's skull into the pavement and he's okay after yeah it just <laughs> like <laughs> that it needs it needs that like um oh there's a there's a quote for it dissonant realism i think it's yeah, called yeah yeah it it, it, to, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to pull that off in live action, but uh, I mean, they can do it. I I, I feel like they can find before. a way. Yeah, they can. Of the Caribbean is like the first one that comes to mind. Some because I watched that with my girlfriend recently, but it makes me think of that thing. You know, when in the second film, when they're fighting on like the wheel on the island and oh, stuff, like just, yeah. just goofy, dumb bullshit like that is is def would definitely fit yeah. like a dragon live action series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like they need to do something like that, yeah, because uh, that <laughs> that that is yeah part of Yakuza's identity. So I'm really cool. I'm kind of excited for Yakuza series. Yeah. I think it would actually be quite interesting. And it, Johnny oh, Depp as Goro Majima. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I don't. I, I don't. I, I want it. I really, really hope it's good. Uh, that's really cool. And also, Lego announced uh, a Legend of Zelda set. Which is oh yeah, I saw uh, that. Yeah, which is, is two hundred and seventy. It's overpriced. Quid. Yep. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. it's two hundred seventy quid for a Deku tree. I'm uh, like, holy uh, crap, man! <laughs> holy crap! But you know people are gonna buy it because it's gonna be a collector's item. But holy it's crap! Zelda. Oh no! Everyone likes Zelda, man. Oh man! Uh, and <laughs> one more piece of news in terms of happy industry stuff. Uh, Shiva Entertainment, who did like the ports for. Mortal Kombat 1, oh, uh, okay. They did Harry Potter, Mortal Kombat 1, and some other stuff. They are now oh. owned by Nintendo. Like, yeah, Nintendo bought a uh, porting studio. Oh, damn. I'm guessing okay. this is for the Switch to, uh, yeah. for, like, obviously to port stuff, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, good. Yeah, some good stuff. And, uh, I think. <laughs> and, um, PlayStation have shaken up their, uh, stuff Ugh. by having two CEOs now instead of one and one of them is from Guerrilla Games so I mean okay. that's that's interesting that then they're gonna have two CEOs instead of one I mean that could cause some issues but hey yeah. that's pretty much all the video game news PlayStation that's cool anyway we that's it that's it that's all my news that is it uh, that's a lot of news, man. That was a lot of news. We had a big news Ugh. segment. It was a lot that happened. Uh, I'm glad we ended it with some good stuff. We ended it with some kind cool of stuff. Yeah.